what is up everyone it's nerp here and i have not spoken to you all in a very long time uh, i haven't made video in two to three weeks and if you didn't know that's because um i just had my final exam school year just ended i had to do a lot of studying these past couple of weeks so um i didn't have the time to play much roles or make any videos on it but the summer is starting for me so you guys can expect a ton of content from me on this youtube channel I am going to make it a goal of mine to have a video come out for all of you every single day of this summer. Um, I think that's going to be possible because I have so much free time without having to go to school every day. Um, I could dish out multiple vid like I could make multiple videos a day. Like so, even if I like when I'm going to go on vacation for a couple of weeks and when I uh, I'm taking a um, a course to create 3D video games. Um, for two weeks I'm going away but uh, for those t periods of time where I'm not here I'm still gonna be able to pre-upload and dish them out because I'm always gonna have um, internet connection so follow me on Twitter for like updates about like if uh, like for videos and stuff and yeah so I've been playing a little bit of ranked uh, the past like day because since my exams are now over I have some time and I'm gonna really get back into scrolls now and um, I have been winning a lot actually. I'm back to number four on the ladder, um, tied with Blinky right now. Um, ooh, I should probably get to all the new stuff that came out when I, when I haven't made a video. So these weekly winners came out. Um, people in chat and stuff, I think. Ikuyo is actually online right now, and Antira, as you can see. No, Ikuyo is not online. Actually, I think he was a general one. Yeah, Ikuyo. So you see, like, they have like a badge next next to their name. Um, you have that for a whole week, I believe. Uh, these change every Sunday, and the person first, second, and third on the ladder gets one. That's why it says that. And Anti Rad has the second place in the weekly winner, but on the uh, ranking he's third because I think it stays the same through the whole week. And um, this fourth badge, I believe, is for the most ranked wins on the week. So. Now I feel like there's more incentive to really do on the ladder. I wish this stuff was there when I spent my uh, like month or two on number one on the ladder. Uh, but now yeah, this will give us another reason to get back into ranked. And lots of changes took place. A lot of cars now they have taxing. There is magic armor. You guys can look up like the scrolls change logs if you don't know what that is. I'm gonna it's gonna take a long time for me to explain all that. So let's queue up for ranked. I'll play some Mono Decay. I've been placing, I've been facing a lot of interesting decks with. Um, I'm facing a lot of interesting decks with wi uh, Wildlings now because Wildling has been changed. So now it's three cost and cards like Oak Blood now give Magic Armor, which means that it's like the Wildling does not take damage <laughs> when. Um, when you put something next to it, so then these things are really hard to deal with. So I've been having a little bit of trouble in ring bouncers, but this decay deck still, I mean, it still usually beats growth due to the OPness of Witch Doctor versus growth. So that's why I'm still using it, but I'll be trying different decks soon. And uh, is that all I wanted to get to? Saying, um, I believe so. And we're going to, I think number three on the ladder is like 1960 rating. So, um, it's going to be pretty hard to get up there and get that, get that badge for it. I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm not sure when it's got, but it might actually be uploaded like as late as Tuesday. Good luck all to dust. Um, ooh, nice starting hand. I got a Ripper and a turn two, but I wish that was a, um, a, what's it called? A Tribesman, because those have four health. But it's good enough. And I really don't want to sack a Witch Doctor. So I am going to sack the Linguid. I like this one, two, three. Maybe I sack the Dark Ones of the Linguid. Nah. Linguid's so good, and it's like the Braves, though. Eh, yeah, whatever. And we went first, which is nice. But Witch Doctor is so good. I have to keep it. If it's if I see like energy here, I'm probably gonna already. He is decay as well. Hmm. Ooh, 
All right, so I will sec Witch Doctor. It's not growth. Witch Doctor is not as crucial, but it's still very good. Now, hopefully, he does not have a Trisman to play or Languid. Ah, Trisman. I'd be okay if it was like a like a Darkling, because at least I could kill the Darkling. Now, I will sack the Hunter because um, Hunter can get languided by Decay, and that's not that good. Um, so, I think I'll be able to get double Harvesters out, but early game Harvesters are not that good. Harvesters, I think, are one of the most overrated scrolls and scrolls. Like, they're very good for their cost, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. Ever since the drop to 4 health, I don't think they've been that amazing. I mean, I see like a Rye here. I kind of want a creature that could actually do stuff right now because I have a languided thing and a harvester on the board. And early game harvesters don't really do much. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. I'll take out this Blight Bear. Uh, I'll put on the same row as these two guys. If he really wants, he could damage curse like the Blight Bear and poison these two things. But this thing's languided. Honestly, if it's damage curse, he'd probably use it on the harvester instead. So. It's four health, the uh, poison won't kill it like right away. So now I can go harvest a ripper next turn. But like I said, these cards are not doing much. Like that curse monger is scaring me. Curse mongers are really, really good <laughs> in decay mirror matches. Um, at least with decay, I don't have to worry about much haste, which I have been worrying about in like all these order and growth matches. So I can kind of take a little bit more chances. Um, let's go ahead and play both of these guys. And it'd be nice to have a Witch Doctor now, wouldn't it? He can kill my um, Blight Bear and poison my Harvester if he wants. Because at least that would mean that both of these guys would be unpoisoned and they would die in two turns. And hopefully that's not in the plan. He has like a Witch Doctor that he's going to play next turn and get them to. Uh... Yeah, it looks like he's forming out getting ready for a Witch Doctor. He... Okay. Ooh, curse monger. I wish I didn't top that. I wanna. I wish I got something I could sack. Because now I'm gonna sack this hope. Probably not gonna get anything good. Ah, so yeah. It's rough. That is rough. Um, this harvester is, even though it's poison, had four health, so it could still be quite good. Both those things are gonna die. Even if you play the witch doctor this turn, which I'm pretty sure he is going to. Or no. I guess not. So no, I guess not, because I would assume he put it in the middle. So that Harvester is going to die now. So... It's annoying. Yeah, it's kind of probably probably a little bit of misplay by me. Um, for letting him kill my Blight Bear that was about to attack and poison my Harvester, because I think the Curse Monitor was on the board. Ooh, that's nice. I can go Seeker Witch Doctor. Awesome. Um, do I want to hurt his Black Bear? These two are dying anyways. Do I want to hurt his Black Bear? If I was put into Soul Steel range, he could always Soul Steal his own creature and like poison a row. That could be kind of bad. Or I could put it into Soul Steel range and then I could Soul Steal it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go for just some good old idle damage because Decay Mirror idle damage is actually pretty important. <laughs> and we actually don't want him to kill any of our humans this turn. I guess it's kind of stupid. I think that was also a little misplay. I um I think I should have put the Ripper like here, put the Harvester behind it, and maybe the Curse. I mean the Seeker in front because now he is a ah that's tough. Okay. So he gets on both harvesters. Uh, draws damage curse. Uh, having to sack cards, I don't really want to sack right now. 
And I get the witch doctor down, but this isn't growth. I mean, there is ways for Kate to deal with witch doctors. If he has a brain lace right now, he could easily destroy it in two turns because he has the curse monger. And that boy bear is attacking, but black bear doesn't worry me. Maybe, hopefully, it's the um, Oblivion Seeker and I get a husk and scrolls because right now I'm top decking. And with this creature heavy decay deck I've been playing, I've been in a lot of situations where I'm just top decking. Which, I mean, it's good if um, you're getting lucky. But sometimes it doesn't always work out. So I definitely like to have more cards. But yeah, in this match, I definitely want to get a uh, flow of creatures out. Like a creature per turn. Another life stealer. See, those are the guys I kind of need. Like, um, um, damage curses for. Ooh. Okay, got a couple of nice cards in hand right now. Uh, I could languid one of the life stealers. I could soul steal that blight barrel, which is probably what I'm going to do. And I'm going to sacrifice the languid for cards. We got some humans, okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna disengage here. I am going to, uh, You know what? I'm going to put the husk in front of our witch doctor. I know that means if he has like a soul steal, he can deal 4 damage to the witch doctor and kill it with, kill it with um, like something. But that's what I'm going to do. Because I kind of want to hide up here for now. And he's going to be poisoned. So, But he's going to heal up if he kills this. So I'm not going to put Brainless on him. I think I don't want to Brainless you. But I could probably wait a turn to Brainless you. So I'm just going to put another Black Barrow down. So we definitely, I think we have a little bit more board presence. But it's close. And he has more cards. I have a little bit more resources. And what's he going to do? Get his own Witch Doctor out? I wouldn't be too mad about that. Ooh, Oblivion Seeker. Okay. Not too bad. And, okay, he, um... Hmm, interesting. He get goes for the double poison on him. Uh, he probably thinks he'll be able to keep um, keep going for the um, you know the healing up. He is when the life kills him, he gets healed to full health. I do have a brain lice in my hand, so I could always use that third brain lice next turn to make sure he gets disposed of. I will sack the little, the little dark one here. I kind of want to save the brainless for this guy, not that guy, because this curse monger is going to be a pain. Um, let's see what we can get. Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and I will get the human in front of there, and I think I'm just gonna play. Should I move up and not let him kill my husk. Husks are actually, if these husks build up, they're actually kind of valuable. Hmm. Nah, because, I, because then I'd move my witch doctor up, and I want my witch doctor in more of a, in like the position she's in now. I don't want her all the way up here. Okay. So, next turn, it looks like I'm going to be sacking probably the card I draw resources and playing a brain lice on this life stealer and a curse monger unless there's a better play I don't know so yeah I do lose a husk but I mean I means he's not doing four idle damage okay now he probably has brain laces harvester so it's nice that I have a curse monger that I may have more curse mongers Ugh. he was attacking next turn but at least I'll be able to kill that thing now because it spawned right there. Um, hmm. So I think we definitely do want to kill this this turn. So I will use a brain lace. I kind of like that he put the harvester all the way down there because it's not much of a threat to me at the moment. I do still want to get the curse monger down this turn though. Yeah. 
so. And I'm going to, I could play the Balloon Seeker and the Trizon this turn. But I have to play the Brain Lace. Trizon and Balloon Seeker are both good. I think it's not early game anymore, so I don't think it, the Trizon is, is valuable. So I will sack the Trizman. I'll play the Blue Moon Seeker next turn, probably. And I'm gonna take a center of the board. Um, I'll just take, I'll take the center of the board. Come down like this. You're gonna take three poison damage and die. And I'll stick in another Curse Monger back there. Oh, this match is kind of fun. It reminds me of the old days of the, um, the old days of all the Decay Mirror. Pretty intense matches they make. Now, let's see. Um, I might have to go on me and run the clock for a second. I think my mom just got home. I'll probably, like, bring in, like, help her bring in the groceries or something. Uh, let's see. So his harvester is going off, I could just move up. But we are getting into territory where he can start doing stuff to our idols and go with a necro win or something. Um, I'm going to curse the... Do I want to sack to see if I can get a damage curse? Or do I want to play the Seeker and the Harvester? Yeah, I'll sack the Darkling so I can get like a Diamond Curse. Ooh, that's nice, Diamond Curse. So I will go for the Diamond Curse now. Yeah, and I'll play Harvester. So, um, and now I can kill the Curse Monger. So I'll move down. It's still a bit risky. Yeah, it's actually very risky. All right. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going to curse. I don't know. It's curse. I'll curse you. And now I will go for the harvester and the damning curse. Doesn't matter who I damage curse. Okay. So good play. But a simple, now the Switch Doctors can just easily be Soul Stole. This Harvester is huge. And he has this thing attacking right now. So I'm trying to actually have to hold on right now. I do have a Necro Gun. So I can kind of clear stuff because this thing could go down if it's not protected to two things. I think I actually might curse in the Necro Gun that turn, next turn. That wouldn't be that bad of a play. And this thing's cursed, so it would go down with a one husk. Ooh, he's moving up. Maybe I will necker again. And try to go for the board clear. Eh, I guess not anymore. I guess now. Yeah. Now I can't even I can only I can't really take much down. Um What should I do? Let me see. I have a necro get in, but I'm gonna keep that. I'm not gonna play this turn. I'll actually sacrifice the rod eater. Ooh, double Necro again, that's nice. Um, do I go for the double Necro? I could probably like sneak in a win soon, but no, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I almost want to disengage, but I do have this Harvester. Harvester's really good. I'm going to curse you so you die to a single hit by a husk and I am going to move up so he can take down my stuff this turn he's taking a lot of my stuff if he has like soul steals and stuff but Worst possible scenario is a soul steal and a um actually just a single soul steal and he could take down a harvester because then he would soul steal the witch doctor and then pop through right there. That wasn't actually a good play. And I was gonna probably damage curse like the harvester or something. Hmm. 
I'm not really sure if I'm happy with how I positioned last this turn. Or, yeah, he's going for the damage curse. Ooh. It's a little rough. It's okay, though. Yeah, I actually... Hmm. Two curse marks for the brain last lot of necker guns. I can do a lot this turn, actually. I can take both of you down just normally. I'm not going to necker gun this turn because my things are attacking anyways, really. Uh, so I will kill both of you normally. Uh, I can soul steal. Hmm. What do I want to do? It's so tough. It's very hard choices here. He's low on cards, so I'm not sure if I really want to hit this Oblivion Seeker. I kind of want to get out of the way, so I am going to do that. And I'm going to kill both of you. She's going to look at this big thing. I'm going to use my... Okay. I'm going to sack this. And I'm probably going to watch her get in next turn. And I'm going to go for the Soul Steal on you. And the Life Stealer here. And hopefully it doesn't have like a Mire Curse. That'd be kind of bad. And that is one big Rod Eater. But we'll probably go for the Watcher again. Sorry, that's uh, that's my parrot. Well, not my parrot, my family's parrot. I don't care too much for it. And looks like he's putting us up down there. Yes, good. And we're going for the watch again. And well, we can go follow up with another neck again. And let's see. Uh, where should we? I guess we should do it. Put the watcher right there. And try to maybe try to win this turn. It'd be tough. We're kind of lucky. Um, or should we move down and use the watcher get in and just try to clear his board? Now nah, we're gonna be going for the win. And I'm going to curse the. Witch Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to curse the Witch Doctor. Yeah. I'm going to move you here. So just in case I can't get the win. I am losing one spot for the Watcher. But at least I'll be able to kill the Witch Doctor. So let's see. Um... Hmm. Not that good. Should it could have been better. So I can go. Actually, no, it is GG. One, two, three, one. Yeah. GG WP. I thought I had to do more. Well, and he's Riders. Okay. Yeah, because that had I think. Yeah. Well, it was GG if you counted it up. So there we go. Um. It's fun. And. We had another Necker again next turn, so even if it wasn't GG there, and Decay doesn't have much to destroy a Watcher, so I think we would have won, like, unless he had, like, a double return to nature or something. So I guess that'll be that. Uh, stay tuned throughout the summer. I Like I said, I'm going to be, like, some of the, you'll notice some of the videos, maybe, like, I don't talk about some, like, current news and scrolls, because they're going to be, like, some of them are recorded, clumped together, and... It's not going to necessarily be recorded the day I release it. It might be like a whole week earlier or something. So don't be alarmed if like I don't talk about some like new news or something. But yeah, so and my rating will not always reflect what it currently is. So you kind of get it. These videos, some of them will be pre-recorded, but I will try to get one out every single day of this summer. So subscribe if you want uh, to see more videos from me. Um, like the video if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, everybody.